I finished off the red circuit because I did half of it last week. And then I had a few attempts in some of the harder pinks as well with no success. They'll have the project on the roof that can do the crux move consistently, but just not from the start. Annoyingly, I didn't get any videos. I was kind of... It was busy and I forgot as well. But have some more cool videos from the depot, which are much better anyway. I'm going to change up the routine that I'm doing. So just with competitions, it's a bit of a pain to commit to the doing the climbing every day. It was working fine whenever there was just one competition every so often. But from now until the end of March, there's a competition every weekend. So climbing every day works well as a training tool, I think. But I don't think it's exactly ideal for peak performance. If I had a home wall, I actually wouldn't mind, or if, yeah, so I'm in Belfast, but if I had a home wall, I wouldn't mind going out and doing like 15 minutes or something, but it takes 40 minutes to get to the wall, so I don't want to go to the wall to do like 10 minutes of climbing whenever I'm resting for a comp, so I think I'll just sub it out for stretching and prehab, really stretching the definition of climbing. I probably will change the title to like training for climbing or something actually after this. Especially with going over to Manchester and those trips to the competitions over in England and like mainly Sheffield and Manchester they're at. But yeah, it's like Rockfest for example, we were climbing for six hours and that was like six hours of trying my absolute hardest. And then on the Sunday and the Monday, you want to get your worth out of the trip. So we were trying like oranges on both days. So that's three days of super high volume and super high intensity. So if I was to climb a fourth day, that is... To me, I feel like pretty much asking for an injury. So instead of climbing on a day like that, I probably will just stretch and maybe do like prehab for my th I have terrible thumb, so I'll do prehab for that. The two days before a competition as well, I want to rest as well. Three, I think if I don't completely destroy myself on the, the third day before a competition, it's fine. Uh, and then have two full rest days. I think one of the big issues as well will be skin. If I'm obliterating it every weekend, I kind of will need the Monday and the Thursday and the Friday to get skin back to being perfect. I'm doing this in my head, but just to go over it. Saturday will be a competition. Sunday will be a competition or training. Monday will be training. Tuesday will be a rest day. Wednesday will be a light intensity day. And Thursday and Friday will be rest days. And rest days will be stretching and prehab. So that means the streak is ended at 114 days. And I'll change the title to something else. Or I might just leave it, I'm not sure. Although it's a bit disingenuous. I don't know. If anybody has any suggestions on what to call it, uh, you can leave a comment. Also, thank you for uh, subscribing and watching. Whoever's still listening to me ramble on at this point.